Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mike here at Game From Scratch and welcome to a Unity doubleheader I suppose it is. Uh, today we're talking about Spatial OS which just released yesterday, the Unity GDK. Now what is the Unity GDK? The GDK stands for Game Development Kit for Spatial OS. What is Spatial OS? Well that's a little bit more complicated but essentially it is uh, server based gaming. Uh, yeah, I can leave it at that. So basically, it provides all the backend stuff, things like uh, player synchronization, hit logic, uh, you know, the kind of things that if you want to have a game with a couple hundred people in it, it's, Spatial OS can do that for you. A couple thousand, it can do that for you. A dozen, it can do that for you. So it's basically a scalable backend for multiplayer networking. And then the Unity GDK is the front end for Unity developers specifically. So there is an SDK, a lot of acronyms here, there is an SDK for Spatial OS that enables you to use whatever game engine you want, and they can basically be your cloud backend. The GDK is a Unity specific implementation as, long, as well as a starter project to get you up and going. We'll look at that in a couple more minutes. And on top of that, we also have the GDK for Unreal Engine. That's in development, does not exist yet. So what this news particularly is, is that the Unity GDK is now ready for mass consumption. So let's jump in and take a look exactly what GDK is. Now do keep in mind Spatial OS is not really unique in this space. In fact it's starting to become a very very crowded field. Now you've got straight out back ends like uh, Amazon's uh, offerings like S3 and so on and then um, you have a bunch of people that are providing straight up emulated or sorry uh, cloud-based gaming servers now. It's, uh, Microsoft is getting on it with their Azure for Gaming. Uh, Unity themselves actually have just an announcement of partnership with um, Google for providing this kind of technology. Uh, just yesterday I reported on Unreal Engine buying Camu to provide the same kind of functionality potentially to Unreal Engine. Well, Spatial OS is basically a third-party vendor getting into that space as well. So what exactly are we dealing with here? Well, this project right here, the, the GDK, is an integration for Unity developers to leverage Spatial OS. In designing GDK, we followed four tenets, fast development iteration, native workflows, high performance, and customizability and openness. And the biggest thing is they integrated directly into Unity using Unity-like workflows. So if you want to work with Unity ECS, they've done it that way. If you want to work with mono behaviors, they've done it that way as well. So it is tightly integrated within Unity, and the cool part is uh, you can use it directly in inside of Unity, so you don't have to do your build, you don't have to do a separate server, it all kind of works directly inside the Unity editor just like you would create a normal game. So here you see they've also implemented a first person shooter starter project and that demonstration shows character movement, transformation, synchronization, shootable weapons, health and player lifecycle being managed across the server and then on the back end you've got GDK core, which is doing automatic state synchronization, Spatial OS SDK integration. As I mentioned, the Spatial OS is implemented as an SDK, so you can use it outside of the likes of uh, Unity or Unreal, or you can extend the, their implementation itself to use their behind the scenes web service SDK and game deployment workflows. And sorry, losing my throat. So, as mentioned earlier, GDK Core provides APIs and tools to integrate with Spatial OS. It leverages the Unity ECS for improved performance and enables you to write game features using either ECS or game objects and mono behaviors. Uh, enables you to restart your scene directly inside the Unity editor. This enables you to iterate on game development code without having to build executables unless you run both client and server code in the same editor instance. And that actually does make development a whole lot faster. Um, so, you see here, Kind of an, uh, they've got the right here is the FPS starter project that is part of the GDK core, sort of. Well, sorry, it's built using the GDK core. It's actually a separate project, as we will see in a second. And of course, I will toss this link down below as long as one of the links to those projects. But this is a simple shooter project that basically demonstrates how you can use um, Spatial OS with a multiplayer shooter game. And again, it implements things like character movement, health, life cycle, shooting weapons, and synchronization across players to different servers. <sighs> And if you're interested in grabbing it, uh, Spatial OS Cloud and play the game with up to 200 real or simulated players for free using the FPS Starter Project. So you can get an idea of exactly how Spatial OS works and you can test it for online development. You can sign up, um, they send you a link, there's nothing really to it. You basically, you give them your email address, they give you a link, you can download the SDK, get started on your machine. Uh, the whole thing is tiered to usage, so you can start for basically free. Let's get into pricing for a second. I don't have specific details of what Spatial OS causes, costs, you're gonna have to get back to them for that, but basically you are charged for gigabytes of data that you persist on their servers, so basically your storage. Uh, you are charged for worker containers. Worker containers are basically your server logic, so this is the processing use of your server. Uh, 
operations, this is the messages sent uh, across the world basically. So this is the data sent to your user and back and then bandwidth. So just the raw gigabytes of data being sent, those are all charged, but for how much? No idea. You have to contact them to find that out specifically, which is, I guess, is kind of a big deal. But if you're finding, if you're trying things out in the first place, it is free initially, uh, so you can uh, give things a shot. There's a number of games that are being made with Spatial OS right now. I'm not actually aware of too many of them. There's Worlds Adrift, Scavengers, Mavericks Proving Grounds, Seed, Lazarus, uh, Vanishing Stars, AI at Scale, uh, and. Jagex, which I think is just a studio, not a game. So it is definitely being used. It is definitely under development. And again, the JDK is now available. So you go over to the Spatial OS site, you will see there is the GDK for Unity, Unreal GDK, and GDK for Unity FPS starter project. So if you want that starter project specifically, it is its own separate GitHub project. I will link to this top level one so you can get each one. The, Un the Unreal Engine GDK is not yet available. What we are talking about specifically today is the GDK for Unity. So keep in mind, GDK is the implementation for using their uh, special OS inside of Unity, native to Unity in a Unity-like way using either ECS or uh, game object slash model behaviors. So one thing I don't like here though, uh, so there is getting started details by the way, right over here and documentation on how to get going. And there's even a roadmap of what is coming soon. And then there is their license. And it is open source. Uh, your access to the Unity engine is covered by Unity's license. Uh, their license, unfortunately, is proprietary. So uh, do be sure to read through this. There, it's it's inspired by a Unity OS, uh, sorry, uh, an open source uh, license of some form, but they've changed it so their our source code and anything derived from it is only intended for use on Spatial OS, thereby excluding any competing platforms. Improbable should always be identified as author within any derived products, but that as an author of derived projects, you should feel free to add your own name to the author's listing. So that is the changes from the original source licensing. Now the annoyance is they didn't actually say what the original source license they based it off was, uh, but do be aware that there are those limitations on the license and, and mostly it's this one right here is that your source code can only be used for spatial os um one of those things to be aware of i i think they're basically putting in a license that is making things more complicated than it needs to but hey uh maybe there are some great logic in their gdk implementation but i would think that most of the special sauce would be in their sdk and on their server side implementation so i would rather have seen them use mit or apache or some other you know permissive license as opposed to something that's slightly proprietary and at the very least let us know what license you modified from so we can see what your you know your base changes are from but at the end of the day it probably shouldn't be a big deal and you're probably only going to be working with this if you're working with spatial OS in the first place but i could see where you could potentially get into a little bit of an issue if you started working with spatial OS, you started working on code and then you switched to a different platform and then you had to port all your code over and then they could potentially say hey wait no you based off our code which is bs and that's why you know i like things like the mit license better than proprietary license but uh, i'm not a lawyer so talk to your lawyer before you get too deep into that one but i wouldn't let it concern you too too much just do be aware of it so that is it that is the newly released gdk for unity it's it's interesting to see this whole uh cloud server gaming space is getting awfully big and i gotta admit there's a huge amount of money there this is actually hell um Lumberyard was purchased so uh amazon bought a license for CryEngine specifically so they could sell you uh, their server integration from Lumberyard to their technologies like Amazon ECS and EC2 and S3 and so on, uh, as well as Twitch integration, etc. So they spent, I think, $100 million at least trying to get you to do this stuff. So this is a crowded space. It'll be interesting to see how well Spatial OS does in it. But if you are a Unity developer, it's definitely worth checking out today and keep an eye out if you are an Unreal Engine developer because it will be coming soon. All right, that's it for now. Let me know what you think. Are you looking for a cloud data provider for multiplayer games or is this absolutely useless to you? Interested to know in the topic, in the conversation down below. All right, talk to you all later. Goodbye.